Lake Ridge Chapel and Memorial Designers was designed not only to serve families choosing burial services, but also those choosing cremation services. As a part of our educational series, we will take a brief look at the actual cremation process. As we open the loading door, we see inside the cremation chamber. It is made up of fire brick and high temperature cement. The control panel is set for each specific case, depending on weight and the type of container being cremated. The temperature control is an advanced thermostat that regulates the flow of gas to the burner to maintain desired temperatures, which maximizes the operating efficiency. Prior to loading, the chamber will be set to the preheat cycle for 15 to 20 minutes. As we open the loading door, we see the primary chamber where the cremation takes place in a refractory surrounding with inputs of heat and air. Located in the rear of the chamber is the afterburner, which adds additional heat. Once the preheat cycle is complete, the loading door is opened and the cremation container or casket is then placed in the chamber by an electronic loading device. The door is closed. The entire cremation process will take anywhere from three to three and a half hours. Small adjustments will be made to ensure that all inputs of heat and air are running at optimal performance. Within 20 minutes, the cremation chamber will have reached its highest temperature level. When the cremation cycle has been completed, a cool-down time is required to allow the equipment to cool to a safe temperature. This time period is important for the operator's safety. Once the cremation chamber has had an opportunity to cool down, the loading door is open and the lockout mechanism is set. The operator will sweep the recoverable human remains into a metal pan located beneath the cremation door. An additional and very important step is the vacuuming of the remaining remains and particles to reduce the risk of commingling. With today's industry standards, vacuuming is not required after each case. However, we feel that it is of the utmost importance that the cremation chamber be as clean as possible for each new client. Once the contents from the vacuum are added to the metal pan, it is then carried to the processing station. A heavy-duty magnet is used to remove any metal that is remaining and is discarded. The final step in the cremation process is pulverization, which reduces the bone fragments to granulated particles that are commonly referred to as remains. Once the cremation process is completed, the cremated remains will be placed into an urn.